so sunny. Hello friends. So doing a vlog and I need to ship uh, a few packages, mostly stickers because people tend to like the, I have no idea what I'm doing sticker, which is super cute. And then uh, hopefully I'll be able to get downstairs. It's about the middle of the day. It's the middle of the week and I need to do work. <laughs> So when I pack these up, for the stickers at least, um, these clear bags I got from ecobags.com, right? Yeah, they're eco clear bags and they're actually compostable. So ideally I try to use as little packaging as possible while st still keeping it cute. And I like to add doodles while I have, if I have the time. And a little, little thank you note. But this card will double as protecting the sticker when it ships in a card. A little, little, little card there. And that way, it's good. Let's just take a look at this wonderful hot mess. Ugh, it could be worse. Um, but yeah, so I gotta clean before I can get started. I can always tell like how tired I was by how bad I end up leaving things. surfaces are all wiped down I mean obviously it's still a little messy but it's the kind of mess I can deal with hi so I went to Ikea I got a new shelf I will show you in a sec but um I want to say <laughs> I picked up this habit of writing the name on the caps and let me tell you how handy it is if you don't already do this. I could imagine this works for more than just glazes, but like it's so handy. Like you take the cap off, you put it down, and with glazes, you don't know what color it is. Like the glaze isn't necessarily going to be this color. Like, for example, this glaze is for gold, saturation gold. And as you can see, the glaze is like black. Um, so when you put the cap down, do you know if it's the right glaze? I don't know. Well, now I do because I write the name when I get new glazes.
Okay, so I made two mugs so far. This one's number three. And I have one, two, three, four more mugs left to put together before I go make dinner. So I'm hoping that this goes pretty quick. These are the first mugs I'm making all year. Or at least, yeah. These are the first mugs I'm making all year. For 2020. They are going to be D&D um, mugs. Put a little dice on them. Oh, I got a smooth inside too. I know hand building isn't as a uh, isn't as sexy or whatever as um, throwing is, but I like it more because all the pieces are from the same slab. The handle goes on. At this stage, normally with throwing, you have to wait, and there's a lot more waiting involved. Even though this takes a little bit longer at first, um, I think overall it's about the same amount of time spent. Because there's no trimming, I don't have to spend the time reclaiming clay. I have the same bucket of Laguna B mix dried up stuff from like failed projects or things that cracked um, for the past two years now. I still haven't reclaimed it. It's a five gallon bucket and it's halfway full. So there's no reclaim. Um, with throwing, that was the biggest thing for me anyways. With throwing, there's a lot. I don't like throwing out clay and some people actually do that. If you throw out clay, hopefully you reconsider and actually reclaim because I, I can't, I could never. I could never. I know clay is just, I don't want to say it's just dirt, but I mean, honestly, yeah, it kind of is. And it's not too, too expensive, but still, reuse what you can, right? Hopefully my vlogs aren't too boring. I know that I like vlogs. And I like it when there's conversation. But I don't really have too much on my mind other than the fact that I haven't made these mugs in a very long time. A very long time meaning like a month. So to me, that's a long time. I think most of these are going to end up being chaotic good and chaotic neutral. Those are the two most popular alignments that people order in my shop. So. Boop, 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 boop. If you've watched this far, let me know in the comments what alignment <laughs> you relate to the most. I think I'm more of a neutral good. Pretty neutral. Break the law, but eh. Only for good. This little triangle nugget really helps um, to keep the handle, like this is a point where it tends to crack all, all the time. So this little nugget of clay stops the handle from cracking, which is why I've added it.
Yay, mug. Four more to go. In case I don't film tomorrow. Thank you for watching my vlog. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what happens next to this mug. If I remember to record some vlogs. Okay, till next time.